Welcome back to Let's Play Thief. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time... Last time we caught up with Orion and Aaron, but the uh, reunion was interrupted by the Thief Taker General. We got up into a straight-up stealth boss fight with him, and even though Garrett took him out permanently, it didn't go on my record, presumably because it was a cutscene. And now we're down here in some kind of tunnel, and it sounds like there are freaks about. Apparently they really are, uh, blind. They can't see you unless they, uh, unless you use, uh, focus vision. They are, however, really good at hearing you. I'm gonna go do something stupid. Oh, God. No glass, come on. Wait. Okay, so it's supposed to lead to the same place. Do something real dumb. Oop. If I drop down there, I'll die, so that's avoidable. What the hell? Oh, that is an X prompt that wasn't peak for a moment. God damn it. <laughs> Why well, don't like this? Not even a little bit. shiny on the ground, but he's just standing there. Dude, go over there. Come on, man. I didn't like that. Okay.
Should I just kill him? That was it. It's like going down. Yeah, I killed him. Shit! What's well, down here? I want to load, but. Just the alternate path. Yeah, it was. Let's look around for delightful treasure. There's like a coin over there. Do you? Uh, that didn't work. They just disintegrate when they die. Oh, for fuck's sake! Okay. Yank me. Am I? Oh, that's right. This is the one I slipped past. The fuck, I am. Maybe the Thief Taker General was such an evil bastard that he uh, doesn't qualify as human, even if these guys do. Uh, delightful as I find that idea, I suddenly remember that I earned a kill for murdering a bird at one point, so, uh. Maybe not. Where was the fucking chest? It was down that way, I believe. I need you to stay over there and you can come back here. Is that the chest right there? Ah! Uh, sorry, panicking. Yes, it is. Hosed if I make a mistake. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Stop getting that back out. I'll take this. Warning bell. They said her broken body was found at the foot of the city's walls, and all Dayport wept. Depressing. I don't like that. By the way, I checked, and, uh... Stop that! There are two collectibles in this level, so I've now found half of them.
Here's our friend, Officer Standstill. You guys have ever heard of a game series called uh, Sniper Elite? One of the mechanics is uh, kind of interesting. Obviously, the game is focused extremely heavily on uh, long range sniping. They make your machine gun relatively weak and the ammo surprisingly scarce. We sort of enforce that. You know, like a last-ditch weapon you use if a whole bunch of people get up on your position. But they also have a bunch of mechanics specifically revolving around sniping. Like, uh... Well, the one I'm thinking of is... When you... If you... In certain specific areas, if you time your shot to loud things going on in the environment, no one will hear it. So, like, at one point, I saw a video of a guy doing a mission in an airfield, and uh, uh, every, I don't know, 30 seconds or so, some uh, German planes fly over the... Uh, play over the field. And if you shoot and if you shoot some Nazi son of a bitch at that exact moment when the planes are flying overhead, the sound of the gunshot will be drowned out by their engines and be totally undetected by the uh, other Nazis on the field. And I'm reminded of that because I suddenly wonder if I could help avoid these guys if I only move during the earthquakes. Damn it. Uh, point of uh, notice. Huh. Yeah, that's the one. This is with the sound upgrade on. He's making these crunchy noises as he walks along. <laughs> oh, it's so hard for me to just stand still when they start to detect me. Because every other enemy in the game, when they start to detect you, you need to get the fuck out of sight. Apparently swooping is a really bad idea, because of course it's just a lot of movement. This is where I'm going. So either I wait for him to come back or I find another route. literally sitting right in the thing I need to go into. But this one does move, I think.
barely see. Either. Fuck. Is he just gonna turn around and go back whatever I do? Because that's the only way back up there. And he's standing right fucking next to it. No, it isn't. Okay, gotta do that faster then. Give myself as much time as possible. Oh, but I don't know how to get up there. Shit. Move now. <laughs> he heard that, of course. <clears throat> Son of a bitch. How do I get up there? That doesn't help at all, does it? Oh! Thinking of it. Almost backwards. I shoot the thing up there. I climb up here. I jump over and I wait for him to walk past. Uh, it doesn't need to go anywhere, it just needs a spot where I can hide. Crappy video for finding a thumbnail. Everything is all blurry and bad. Don't run, don't move quickly. It'd be an interesting mechanic, and it would fit thematically if they had a harder time detecting you the lower your focus meter was. But that would be really frustrating. So I'm glad they didn't incorporate that. Discover where Orion has taken Aaron, and I uh, forgot to do this earlier. Orion's gone crazy. 
After stealing his necklace, the madman escaped and dragged Aaron under the huge ship the Gravener building called the Dawn's Light. Hmm. Now the only choice left is to follow him, stop him somehow, and remove the energy from Aaron's body without her dying. It's time to pay the price. What? I mean, I remember him saying at the be very beginning of the game, like the opening cutscene, I've never paid for anything in my life, so I'm sure that's a callback to that. What does it mean in this context? Garrett didn't want any of this to happen. He didn't arrange for any of this to happen. Hmm. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Thief, when we, uh, head off to the Dawn's Light and rescue Aaron. Even if we have to go through Orion in order to do it. Later!